one. Why are you taking lights out? That's from the last time we took it out. When we take the lights out before we take the panel off so that they don't, the lights will hold the panel in. Taking these saggy baggy, wouldn't this be great if you could do this to your skin? Right, it's all saggy and baggy and then you I just... Think, I think you can. I think, <laughs> I think it's a thing, right? I think it, it's a thing. We just nip and tuck it right behind the ears and we're good. <laughs> there we go. It's about time these headliners get done. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs. Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. Welcome to this week's episode on our trawler. This week we pull a Chip and Joanna Gaines and go DIY on you. We decided to redo our yacht's headliners. Thank you to Yacht Tech for offering up their shop space and headliner master, Matthew Knight, who patiently taught us how to do this project. He stressed that if you don't use correct materials and precise techniques, they'll not turn out and they'll prematurely sag. While in this episode we show you the process of how it works, remember we were only doing the salon. I can't imagine doing the entire boat. I'd leave that up to the professionals if you want to make sure the quality is top notch and consistent. How are those fingers feeling? They hurt. Tedious. You have to get everything off and. From what we've heard and learned about doing this, it's all about the glue that's used and we'll find out what glue they're using or what they're helping us uh, apply it with. But you have to strip them all down, including there's kind of a mesh underneath the material and the glue is just, it kind of just crumbles apart. So over time that uh, glue separates from the headliner or, or from the wood, right? And then it sags essentially, and humidity, it sacks worse. So it's time to replace these and we'll see how hard of a process it is, but if, if we can do it, I mean, it saves you a heck of a lot of money. So we'll see. Freaking stickers all in my butt. Why are you not doing this in Mexico? Or, or in Panama or another um, country with more affordable labor? We've heard of, there's been really good stories about it, like, afford, you know, it's affordable and whatnot. And then we've heard of kind of horror stories where they get it done and there's a language barrier as far as what materials need to be used and the quality and craftsmanship, and then they end up having to redo the, it. The glue, right? Yeah, it's the glue. It's all in the glue. And so then they have to get it redone when they get back to Florida. And it's, it's like a really big headache. It's all labor intensive. That's why it costs so much money, um, because it takes a long time to strip these. I mean, ultimately, I would like to just invent a, something that doesn't have to be this. Just go on the ceiling, just a panel that you pop in and out. I mean, it would make way more sense, but I don't know. It's called plastic. Sure. It's not as pretty. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I need a towel to sit on, because this dock is like giving me blisters. I have them all sticking in my pants and it hurts. I'm scared to stand up. Uh. Ah. It's windy now. All right, Penn, come here. You can help, okay? Okay, stop. Victory! Mm -hmm. oh, high five! High five! How do you do it? Oh, it's so bad. 
Ethan, what are we even doing? <laughs> you can't even see. <laughs> you look like a freaking Star Wars character. There you go. It's for so good. Okay. Wait, was the mask just for to look cool? To what? make it look more serious? Where's the mask? Um Yeah. I I read the thing and I didn't see any cancer. Oh my gosh. It's like very satisfying at the end, don't you think? But it's just tedious. This part is super tedious. Yeah, it's like Dr. Pimple Popper. She should do this also. Oh my gosh. What happened to Dr. Pimple Popper? I haven't oh, she's, seen she's still going strong. I remember when you first showed that to my family. Oh my gosh, they freaked out. Satisfying. They have a game now at Target for kids. Dr. Pimple Popper game. See, that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. That is weird. The kids are getting to be a good age, huh? They can help us with stuff now. Look, it's black. Yeah. It's great. Rooney is the best little helper. Uh, so is Kenny. You guys are finally earning your feet. Look it. I got all bloody. Here we go. I don't know what we're going to move that. This cut that just keeps gushing. Because you nail stabbed you. Ah! But you're tough. Tougher than nails, right? Gushing. You. Who was gushing? We're done. I am. Um, I love it. I think it's real fun. How is it round two? This little panel is a lot tougher. Really? I think it's the panels that sag more are It's easy. easier, for sure. That's why our theory is to wait as long as possible. <laughs> It'll be easier. Yeah. So what are you doing first? First thing, I'm removing the staples on the corners. Yeah, because those things just kind of hold you up a little bit. And it's nice to just not have to worry about it. Yeah. And then essentially we just peel all the corners. And then we kind of just figured out a new technique that we'll show you. We're gonna try something new this time. Well, let's, let's take the leather off first. Okay. It's just gonna be messier though. Yeah, but you can't get, you can't cut it, you can't get the cheese stuff. If you know that. Ugh. This is what it looks like, just messy glue. The kids call it moldy cheese. to pull that way instead of picking it from the underside like we were doing. We'll see if it works. See, now that we've cut it in half, it just, you have leverage to actually pull it. So like these just came right off when we pulled it. It's gonna save us. So much time, oh my gosh. Panel, huh? Crazy. Instead of trying to just pick it. We so smart. Hey, go finish the headliners. We'll get them done at the shop. Hi, yeah. hi, 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 hi. Got the bowl and And 
then later when it hardens, we'll sand it down. So what's next, Brooke? We're getting the boards and we're um, filling, well, I'm not. Matthew's filling in the imperfections here and the, the boards from you, uh, pulling them down from the panels, you chip some of them. So they're kind of showing us how this uh, West system like resin works. Mix it one to one, and put it in the filler, make it into like a consistency that you like and then you spread it into the perfection, imperfections. How long does that take to harden? Do you have to leave it? Like the epoxy takes, it depends on if you use the, the fast or the slow, but yeah. if you use the fast one, it's generally a couple hours. Okay. And, and you know, you, the longer you leave it to harden, the better. So you want to leave it to harden, you know, kind of overnight. Gotcha. So that's what I would say. Cool. Some people have done it, but ours particular, Matthew said he's not seen it yet, but where these holes are, where the X's are, that's where the Velcro goes. So when you're putting the panel back up in, you can just kind of pop it on where all these X's are. Makes it handy. Yeah. So this is the, the glue that you use, it's called Spray 90. And you want to make sure that it's 90 because anything below 90 is too weak to, um, to hold the headliners and it'll start sagging a lot faster. Yeah. And you can get this at any uh, local hardware store, Home Depot, you know, Ace Hardware. Sweet, that's our magic sauce right there. See, he just leaves me to clean. He already knows. Matthew already knows how this works. Just give the girls the brush and they'll do all the cleaning. Your mom taught you well, you're good at it. I don't to let you sand. <laughs> you're so kind. There we go. Three. I probably should have just left it though. You know, one, two. This side isn't as important, but you want to make sure the, the edge is near the belt. Now what I'm doing right now is, um. This doesn't really, it doesn't matter right here, I'm just showing you this how I'm going to do it. This how is how you need, yeah, essentially. To get a, this is how much you need to get a good grip and Pull it over. also to not waste more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. When you do, you got to do the corners because if you fold it up just like this, it'll, it'll not be a corner. It won't. It'll be. Yes. It'll look wrinkly and. Yeah. When dented. we pull them off, so, they had cut it. So you want to cut it like kind of like a triangle, but you don't go all the way across. You go kind of like that. Yeah. And I'm just going slow to show you. And you come to the other edge but of the corner. Don't cut it off. Yeah, like, like that. Gotcha. And it leaves a little knobby, a little knob, and then you come straight, straight down to this down, corner and straight down off. to this corner. But gotcha. you, so it leaves a little tab that you can fold yes. up and over, so like that, like that, and like that. Yes. Okay. So now, when you fold it up like this, this this piece comes up and over, yeah. and, it, and it looks nice and flat on the other side. Beautiful. Okay. And it's all gluey. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the board here just because. There's no way to really get around. For sure. And I just... And then once I get the edge, I just go along it like this. And keep it close. And you don't have to go over this again because you're so close that it's putting more than enough glue on. Like this. And then I just take the edge with my fingers and pull it up like this. Just pull it out, outwards first. Out and, then and up. up and around. Out, up and around. And then I go like this just to get the edges first. And then, I mean, sometimes I'll do it all in one. And then once the edges are up there, I pull it out and, and I... As hard as you can, And, and I just pull it and, and push it down. Pull it and push it down. Yeah, makes sense. You're so good. I 
I pull these edges with my fingers like this. Yeah. I pull them that way. And then I just put a staple in the end. And then... And it really starts to hurt your fingers at the end of the day. Yeah, I can imagine why. Oh man, I'm so nervous. <laughs> we'll see if it turns out okay. Okay, go. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's not bad for a first timer, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. Sweet. All right, we only have uh, eight more to go. <laughs> hey, you can press it. You go okay, press. press the red. Just push it. No, you no, see no, up no. here? This red? Yeah. Push it. Yeah, push it. There you go. Good. You do it again? Yeah. Don't do that. Tell us what's going on. Uh, it's two o'clock. We got here at like eight fifteen. We've been working the whole time, so it's kind of it is a lengthy process, but it's not horrible. It's just time consuming. You got it. You did, well, there's some tricks that we learned. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, the importance of the glue is everything. It sounds like our boat's, what, 10, 11 years old now, 12 years old almost. Uh, and that's, headliners start sagging, I think it's between eight and 10 years. So they were definitely due. And from the sound of it, there's a bunch of 55s that are due for headliners. It's about, they're all dying. And uh, that glue starts sagging and separating from the main panel. And that's when you get the droopy sagginess. So, then you have to start over. Tell me more. Three more. Four? I have four? To go to the bathroom. No way. How do we it have four? It doesn't matter though because, I mean. I have to go to the bathroom. How do we have four? Three is the same as four. We did not. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. No. Did we do the wrong panel of someone's? You did. You did a, a different boat's panel. No, but uh, that doesn't make sense. I must admit, after a full day of doing headliners, I started to get a bit well distracted. <laughs> Was that sneaky, Brayden? <laughs> what? Nothing. What do our tunes? Are we slowing you down? Oh. Like, would oh, you have been done by me. now if you didn't have our help? Yeah. No. Probably. <laughs> I mean. what they look like, yeah? through so we don't like oh we didn't <laughs> maybe just an idea okay <laughs> what letters don't let it hang in the why does it say c and then d over it <laughs> probably because we wrote it wrong as always thank you for watching if you like what you've seen okay. give it a like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell we'll see you all next week you can also follow us on Instagram at Aboard Mermaid Monster and at Brooke Palmer Image, and also our new and surprise YouTube channel, Brooke and Brayden. We have a podcast and a comment filled channel. Enjoy!